Um, good morning, guys. My name is Damien, and I'm here to teach you guys about the multiple intelligences. And I don't know if you guys already have um, some background information on it or not, but we're going to go ahead and can I have somebody read the objective for me? Anybody? You. Yeah. Lenin will be able to identify all the multiple intelligences and provide an example for given intelligence. All right. So I'm going to be teaching you guys today about who who came up with the multiple intelligences and different types of examples for each intelligence and I'm gonna have you guys kind of work with each other to kind of make sure that you guys understand these so first of all I'm gonna have you guys on one of your sticky notes can you guys write this question down with your answer with your current information what do you know about the multiple intelligences if you guys are done can you guys please raise your hand Okay, so while everybody else is finishing up their, their responses, can I have some of the people that haven't answered yet say their answers? Mm. All right. What did you put for your answer? Um, I put, um, well, I really don't, I really don't remember what I put. Like, yeah. I don't know if it was something about the, our methods of it does have something to do with your your five senses you know and can I have somebody else before we start the lesson somebody that has an answer <laughs> Um, my answer? Yes. That all I know is that everyone has a different way to understand special learning. Alright, that's a pretty good answer. So, the multiple intelligences, what are they? These multiple intelligences are different ways that students can learn. They're different ways that, you know, students in interpret information. You know, not every student is the same. So the person that kind of came up with the multiple intelligences theory is Howard Gardner, and he created it in 1983 to help distinguish students' fullest learning potential from just IQ tests and normal standardized tests. So he came up with this to kind of you know make sure that every student got knows their own way of learning, and it's not just one multiple intelligence that you should know. So like let's say for example Jose Luis, you know, he could be really good with his hands and you know really good at reading. But in math, you know, he kind of lacks a little bit. On the other hand, one of these other students, you know, could be really good at math, but not really good with their hands. So you can have a couple of different skills in the multiple intelligences, but you could also be lacking in some. So I'm going to be going over the multiple intelligences very briefly so you guys can get an understanding of what they mean. So our first one is our verbal linguistic intelligence. And can I have somebody read that for me? So you're basically good with, you know, music, you're very fluent in reading notes, like music sheets, and you're very good at understanding different tones. So we'll move on to the next one. And can I have somebody read uh, mathematical and logical intelligence? Negative, think conceptually and abstractly, and the ability to discern logical and ornamental so with this one, you know, you're very good with graphs, you're good with math, you're good at interpreting different numbers, so like you're like you're very good at statistics. And for our musical intelligence, can I have somebody else read that? The ability to produce and appreciate rhythm, pitch, and analysis. Timber. I think. <laughs> so with this one too, it's kind of the same thing with um, like the vocal, you know. You're very good. This is more focused on music. You're very good at interpreting music notes. You're good at, you know, tuning like musical instruments. You're good at playing musical instruments and all that stuff. So, um, for visual and spatial, can I ask somebody else? Read. The capacity to, to think in images and pictures, to visualize accurately and abstractly. So you're good at kind of figuring out what the true meaning of pictures is. You know how you look at a painting and you're like. You know, I kind of know what this means, you know. You can find the true meaning behind different things, and you're very good at remembering um, vivid memories. So you're able to picture them really well. And for this one, bodily kinesthetic is the ability to control one's body movements and handle objects skillfully. So you're really good at 
let's say like construction, you know, you're really good at making things, you're really good at, you know, like body, bodily movements. So, can I have somebody read the interpersonal setting? Um, the capacity to detect and respond to the presence of other people is so you understand what other people are feeling, you know. Like I can look at one of you guys and say, I mean, I'm not, but I like, if you can see that somebody's sad, you know, you can kind of know what they're going through. Or if you see somebody really happy, you know, they did something to make them happy or something to make them sad. Or if you see them really mad, it's kind of just reading people's expression and kind of understanding them from the outside and knowing what they're feeling on the inside. So for interpersonal, can I have somebody read that that hasn't read it? The capacity to be self-aware and in tune with inner feelings, values, beliefs, and people. This is basically the opposite of the last one that we said. And what this is, it's just, you know, you're in tune with yourself. You know what you're feeling, you know what you want, and you know what, what, you, what you want to do in life. And for a naturalist, can I have somebody on this side? The ability to recognize and familiarize plants, animals, and other objects. So this one's pretty self-explanatory, you know, you're just good with nature. And for existential intelligence, I'll go ahead and read that one. The sensitivity and capacity to tackle deep questions about human existence, such as the meaning of life, why we are here, and how we got here. So this is more like deep thought, you know, you're thinking, you know, like, why are we here, you know. You kind of try and figure this all out. So before we move on to the the other part of this assignment. I kind of want to test you guys and see if you guys got some of the multiple intelligence right. So I'm going to write down some of them and I'll have volunteers come write like things that they kind of go with. So can I have somebody come over here and write write what they think would go into this category? Go ahead and write something up there for kinesthetic. So she put good at talking and understanding what they hear. So that's true. You know, you're kind of able to interpret what other people are saying in deeper thought. And for kinesthetic, and he put good with things related with movement, which is also true. So all these multiple intelligences are to generalize how a student should think. And when you use this in a classroom, you are not only gonna focus on one intelligence, you know. If you wanna be a good teacher and a great teacher, which is, what you got, which is why you guys are in this class, you guys wanna kinda gather all the information you can about your students and kinda base your lesson plan on these multiple intelligences. So that you not only teach kinesthetic, or you not only teach um, logical, but you're teaching all of them, or you're teaching a majority of them to your class so that nobody's left out. And then you kind of want to do that every day so that your students can get the best learning experience. So for your guys' oh, for your guys' assignment, you need to write down like what category intelligence would you think you guys would be in? What was the name of the musical? Musical? It's musical. Let me go back real quick so I can show you guys. Musical intelligence. If you guys need me to go back to any of the intelligences, just let me know. So if I can have somebody that hasn't taught share their answers, so can you share what you put on your sticky note? What you think your multiple intelligence is? Um, I believe I'm like kinesthetic. Kinesthetic, all right. So there's another way you can figure this out, and I did it so you guys, so I can show you guys the example of what I did. So if you guys are interested, there is a website where you can figure out what your, what your uh, multiple intelligence are by answering like 80 questions, and they go by really quick. And if you guys are interested, I'll send you guys all the links so you guys can do this on your own. So I did the test and I ended up getting linguistic, musical, and logical as my top three multiple intelligences. So if you guys are really interested and you guys want to figure out what your top um, multiple intelligences are, I'll send you guys the link so you guys can take this test. Thank you guys for your time.